Well, it looks like that time of year again. So, uh, how about I just? Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, let's just go, let, let, let's just get started. I'm I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Plush Collection 2024. Technically, okay. Let's start off with the jumbo plushies. So, we got le big old Lefty or Lefty Mac rather. And then, thanks to a Makari incident, um, I accidentally got two. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. We got Jumbo Vanny. Get your mind out of the gutter. I guess if anyone's curious, uh, here's the original Lefty Mac. The Holy Trinity. And then we got, uh, my biggest custom of this year, um, the, uh, after the amalgamation from, uh, Curtain Call. Look at him. He's the big boy. There you go. You can work in the corner there. Huh. I guess I don't have that many big plushies. You know what, I got a good idea. Next up is the Sanchi plushies, because I actually got some of those this year. We have Sanchi Freddy with very with a very scared expression. Sanchi Foxy. And Sanchi Chica with Carl. Yeah, Bonnie and Golden Freddy were, all, were out of stock, so oof. But I did get all the uh, all four of the Glam Rocks, so uh, let me go get them real quick. We have Fred Man. We got Chica Girl, we got Roxy, and we have Monty himself with the goofy off face. Hopefully they don't fall. I guess to even things out, uh, here's you two's Vanny. And that one uh, the plushie that you get with the collector's edition for help for security breach. One side's the sun, and then the other side's the moon. How creative. That and you get a little jingle. Anyway, screw you. Okay, we got through like the jumbo and uh, the the uh, the I guess the medium sized plushies. So now we can move on to all these. As per tradition for me, I'm gonna go through uh, the plushies as through like the games and how they release. So, but not one. Well, so sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath. I have to like get like every these plushies from behind me and like get them over here and like. I don't know why global warming, but whatever, we got Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and the first time never before seen, whoa, what the hell? Yeah, so apparently my uh, friend said, hey, uh, Merry Christmas, and this is what they gave me for a Christmas gift. This was like their plushie from like 2016, so that's why it looks a little wear worn torn. But other than that, no, it looks, still looks pretty good. It, don't don't question why it has a blue eye. It, 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 they, they have a weird story with that. But predictions for a movie, Golden Freddy, oh my god! Anyways, yeah, now I have a $300 Golden Freddy. I, I didn't spend $300 on it, I got it as a Christmas gift from one of my friends. That they had in like 2016, how about that? But yet again, I don't know if I'm gonna replace my custom or not. Yeah, I'll think about it. Oh yeah, by the way, my custom that I've been ha that I've had for like five years now. And uh, yeah, that's everything from FNAF 1. Uh, I actually scratched that, this is the, the, the last custom of FNAF 1. It's the uh, endoskeleton. Which honestly, I should really make. But that will come in the future. Anyways, on to FNAF 2. Okay, so starting off with FNAF 2, I have a custom Toy Freddy, which I've never used in videos, and I don't know if I will. So pretty good custom, though, after all these years. We have a... Toy Foxy? Honestly, uh, I'll, after all these years, I still don't know what to call this thing. I just call it Pre-Mangle, because this is basically what Mangle would probably look like. I don't have Toy Bonnie or Toy Chica, but I have Carl. Uh, yeah, he, he's here, and he's there. And here's the puppet. Nothing really much to say about it, it's just, it's the puppet. Now, for the big old game changer of this year, bootleg companies actually doing good. Yeah, we got a bootleg, uh, Withered Freddy, how about that? But they didn't stop there. And honestly, this is probably the best Withered Bonnie plush I've ever seen. Same goes for, uh, Withered Chica. And Withered Foxy, which honestly, out of all these, Foxy and Bonnie are probably my favorite. And even though x Marts is saying they might make Golden Freddy, I made Withered Golden Freddy already. This was like, I, I've already had this custom, so like, yeah. And I guess for the final three of FNAF 2, we got Shadow Bonnie, Shadow Freddy, which honestly, I really do want to make more videos with these guys, but eh, we'll see. I kind of want to start using glam the Glam Rocks more because of like recent events and stuff like that, but uh, I don't know. I uh, thinking for plot of season nine, I guess. Oh yeah, by the way, here's uh, endo, the end the endo O2, or you know the chief of the EPD, which again I really should do more with. 
I should also fix this custom because he's kind of falling apart. <laughs> Honestly, this way of like forming the plushies is probably better because like I still have all the space. Anyways, time to go to Five Nights at Freddy's 3! The game that apparently took place this year. The only thing taking place this year was the fact that we actually got the FNAF movie, baby! And just FNAF content in general was really good this year. And by the way, here's Spring Trap. An official one, after all these years. I got him last year and it's, just, it's still a really nice uh, plush today. I know some people don't like this plush, but I, I personally like it. And once again, we get the, the bootleg companies doing what the official ones won't because they're a bunch of pansies. For instance, bootleg with the, not, I was gonna say with the Freddy, ba Phantom Freddy. And he's missing a leg like God intended. I don't know why, I, I, I had to fix this up because like he, he had a leg. I don't know why, because I, I guess people think, oh, he doesn't have a leg. Or he had a leg, but why would he be limping if he, if he has a leg? No, no, it's weird. It, hang on, I gotta fix it. Not good enough. Anyways, uh, bootleg Phantom Chica as well. Definitely the worst out of the bootlegs, but it's not bad. I'm gonna scoot you down here. Uh, in terms of actual bootleg stuff that I expect out of bootlegs, um, yeah, that's the bootleg Phantom Foxy. Funny enough, it's actually made by the same people who, uh, made the Withers. Funny enough. And even then, would you even tell this is a bootleg? I mean, nowadays, I, if, whenever I look on Mercari, Phantom Foxies are for like 25 bucks nowadays, which honestly is a steal. Eh, I don't know. The, the, the exclusivity marking just ranks everything up, you know? Oh, well, so yeah, that's pretty much everything from FNAF 3, I guess. Uh, hang on, actually, I'll save that for FNAF 4. Which, speaking of which, FNAF 4 time! Okay, we have quite the uh, bit of customs, to, or not customs, but quite a bit of plushies go through for FNAF 4, so here's Nightmare Freddy. Fun fact for those of you who don't know, this is my very first ever FNAF plush. And he's still up, oh, and he's still in good condition even today. I mean, he's kind of crusty, but yeah, that's with AJ. That's with, that's with any plushie, I guess. Uh, anyways, custom Nightmare Bonnie, because uh, an official one is just too expensive. A custom Nightmare Chica, which honestly looks like an official plush. Save another money, it looks official ish. I don't know, that could just be me. MEF MUFF ME! Actually, funny enough, I had to. Uh, he was. When I found him, he was in his, uh. Mothman clothing, so I had to strip him of his Mothman costume. <laughs> don't. Don't take that out of context. A anyways, here. It, it, Nightmare Foxy. And here we have Nightmare Fredbear. He, I really. People say I should really use him more, but. You know, in my, in my lore, he's dead. Yeah, he kind of died, but it, I don't know. We don't talk about that. Anyways, he's here. He's a he's a good custom. Well, it's not really a good custom after all these years. Yeah, it's fine. He has a weird charm to him. Uh, anyways, yeah, here's uh, my custom nightmare. I think after all these years, I think he still kind of holds up. But what I didn't expect is that they actually made a, made a bootleg of him. Yeah, I mean, if you if you if I didn't tell you this was a bootleg, you probably wouldn't even know. I mean, it, it's fine. It's just like some. It just looks a little off, you know. Anyways, yeah, this is a bootleg nightmare. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it or not. It looks great. Don't get me wrong. I just don't know if I'm ever gonna use it. I know technically this design for Fredbear doesn't is technically from Ultimate Custom Night, but I'm gonna count it for FNAF 4, uh, Fredbear. Yeah, he was part of the main plot for Season 8, which honestly was still my, like, my greatest, my, 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 that was the big thing I wanted to do this, uh, in 2023, like, focus on eight, Season 8 and making a movie, and, you know, I did that. I'm happy with the movie, everyone really enjoyed it, I'm pretty sure as of filming this, it's like at 2k views, so thank you guys very much. But, uh, yeah, more to come, hopefully. But uh, anyways, yeah, here's uh, Spring Bonnie. Now you may be saying, oh, well, she looks a little weird. Uh, yeah, this is actually a bootleg, if you can tell. Like, it's that good of a bootleg. Like, it looks official. Like, it's a little overstuffed, but it's not bad. Bad, I don't have to buy an official one unless, you know, I somehow I get it for free, which, you know, it, it's not gonna happen. But uh, anyways, on to the Halloween edition of FNAF 4, we got Jacko Bonnie. It's weird that they made the Jackos in this weird style, but I don't know. 
was even weirder is that they made Jacko Chica, but not Nightmare Chica. What is wrong with you, Funko? You make this, but not her. You make the Christmas stuff, but not... Whatever. I don't know, a bit of a rant, I guess. I'm not, I don't know. Uh, they got followed. And now we have a custom Nightmare Yone, whose legs is kind of broken, and I really want to remake this plush. You know that, or a bootleg company might make him. I honestly doubt it, so I might just make a, another custom of him, because he's not that bad of a custom to make. I mean, I saw, like, a lot for, like, 75 bucks for, like, a Mangle, a Bonnie, and a Puppet. I might use that Bonnie for Rockstar Bonnie and that Puppet for Nightmare Own and didn't just a Mangle I don't know. It's a whole thing. I don't know. Speaking of Mangle, I made Nightmare Mangle. Honestly, not the best custom of this year, but I think it gets the job done. I at least tried to make it look like Nightmare Foxy in terms of, like, how Funko would do it, but eh, I think it turned out okay. Anyways, uh, that's that's it for FNAF 4. I actually have almost all the characters from that game. And Jacko Chica fell. Oh no. It really, if I wanted to, cl to complete the uh, whole FNAF 4 thing, I, I just need to make Nightmare BB. But why would I make him? I don't even have the normal BB. Like, what the heck? Anyways, before we move on to Sistle location, let me go see if I have any plushies from uh, FNAF World. How silly of me. Of course I have customs from uh, FNAF World. Red Bear, the honestly kind of pointless main villain of season, of the second half of season seven. <laughs> yeah, he probably wasn't the smartest guy, but I I, 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 I did him justice. Or, you know, I at least get this henchman justice. I don't know. Anyways, Tangle. She has a tail and all. That, and if you want to see more of these three, uh, I made an entire movie on them. Uh, the Shadowy Menace. And, uh, spoilers, you'll find out what happened to Fredbear. Anyways, Bright Rabbit. These are, like, really obscure FNAF characters in the series, but I, I, I still like them. Probably because, like, they're so obscure to the point where it's, like, I, I, I just like them. Speaking of a game that I seemingly, I only like, uh, Sister Location. Okay, anyway, Sister Location, we have Baby. Ballora. Fun Time Foxy. Fun Time Freddy and Bon Bon. Um... Hang on, wait, where's the other bonbons? If you're a FNAF plush make custom maker, then you probably know my know how I feel. If you, you if you have a few uh, Funtime Freddies as customs, you probably separate Bonbon bon from them and this, this this is what happens. You know what, they can just chill here with him. There we go. I'm in Bonbon bon heaven! And uh, then I got entered. Black-eyed entered. Uh, I don't have the original, sadly. But that's okay, because honestly, I like this more. <laughs> I like the black eye a little bit more, but the, I don't know, that's just me. And uh, kind of a uh, out-of-nowhere purchase for me, which is really cheap on Makari, I got Bonnet. She's a little crusty, but honestly, it, it, it's still a really good plush. So now I don't have to use that stu- uh, Wait, that's not our voice. So now I don't have to use this custom anymore. Yippee! <laughs> disgusting! Get out of here! It, it's too disgusting to even sell. I might just give this to one of my little cousins. Who knows? Anyways, uh, Bon Bon. B bonnet. I don't know what. There's too many bonds. Anyways, we uh, have Mini Reno. A custom I'm proud of after all these years, but I have yet to use in the video. Why? Eh, maybe one day. And then we got Lil Bit. Yeah, not really much to say. Technically, a Targa is exclusive, weirdly enough. But you can still find her cheap online, so that's something. So, uh, <laughs> this is a character I didn't expect to see in Help Wanted 2. Uh, Yendo, yeah, he appeared in Help Wanted 2, and now I kind of want to remake his custom because it's definitely showing its age nowadays. You know what? Maybe next year, buddy. Because they did you justice in Help Wanted 2. Good job, Steel Wolf. Oh, yeah, I should technically count this. Uh, hand unit. I originally made this for, like, a scrap for video idea. Uh, for this location the anniversary, but yeah, I mean, I still used it in the in plus videos regardless. But uh, whatever the case, uh, he he's here. I shall stick you right yeah. There we go. What are you still doing here? Okay, before we move on to twisted ones, I should technically count this one. Uh, this is Sprenard. I made him recently, and uh, yeah, he he's pretty. He looks pretty cool. 
I technically count them in this location because technically this is just what happened. This is like a fan-made model design where it's like Springtrap has entered inside of him instead of a corpse. I don't know, it's a weird design. It's a weird design, but I personally really like it. Okay, before we move on to Twisted Ones, I, I again, I forgot someone. Uh, from, uh, okay, I forgot someone from FNAF 4. It's the Nightmare Endo Flush. Again, showing its age. So I'll just slip it right here. There you go. Okay, so yeah, again, this year I went on uh, kind of a interesting shopping uh, search for some uh, interesting characters. Uh, starting with the Twisted Ones, I guess. Okay, well, I I own a few, like, Twisted Freddy here, but uh, you'll see which ones I got later. We're actually in five seconds, uh, actually. Uh, yeah, I got Twisted Bonnie and some of the others. He, he, I know some people don't really like the Twisted Ones wave, but I think this one's a pretty good plush. Nightmare Chica, I think is uh, ni Nightmare. Twisted Chica is kind of stretching it. I, I, I might have accidentally called him Twisted Freddy, but yeah, that's fine. I don't know, her head just looks like a balloon, and everything just looks weird, and, you know, the cupcake's there. I don't know, it's a weird plush. And then Twisted Foxy. I'm not doing the joke. You know what, screw it. You know what, the joke was so good, I'ma do it again. Yeah, I have a duplicate of uh, these two, because I've done a lot with those two. And, and, and another plushie, which I'll show in a minute. Or, once again, uh, uh, yeah, no, in a minute. Uh, anyways, yeah, Twisted Wolf. This was the last of the Twisted Ones plushies I got, and, uh, yeah, no, he's still pretty, pretty good. Again, pretty crusty, but, eh, that's what happens. And then the final new, uh, Twisted Ones plush I got this year, uh, Theodore. I think people say this is re regarded as one of the better plushies of this wave, and, yeah, I can agree. Even though I would give that honor to Twisted Wolf, but, eh. He's still a pretty good custom. He's he's dumb looking, and that's it's charming to me. And then we got ew, disgusting. Yeah, no, this is pretty, a pretty bad flush, but it's good for videos because I can do stupid jokes with him. Like honestly, any kind of like weird joke that comes into my head, I can just embody it with this guy. Because he is so weird. Or so yeah, the llama dumped dumped me. Take that as you will. Character development, I guess. Anyways, I think that's all the pushies from this wave. Yeah. Anyways, but that's six. I guess I should say going forward, uh, some plushies may not be here from previous plush collections because either they're in storage, or they're at a storage at another person's house, or I just thrown them away over time because they're old plushies and all that. Anyways, uh, Scrap Baby. I've always been hesitant whether or not I want to remake her as a custom plush or not. Because, like, this is a genuinely good plush, but over the years, it's definitely starting to show its age. I don't know. I, if I get another baby plush, I'll think about it. Although, another, cust another custom that uh, received the remake, uh, Molten Freddy. He, I, I remade him, and he looks way better. And look at that. He's a little spaghetti pile with some eyeballs. How about that? Anyways, he's there. Uh, now for a scrap trap. Which I heard x Marts might be making a bootleg of him, which I'm kind of sad about. And whether or not I like it or not, I might not buy it because this is a really good custom to me. Obviously, it's based off of, uh, obviously, I used a bootleg friend trap to make this guy, but he still looks pretty good. He has a 3D bone and all. Anyways, there's him. And uh, let me go get Lefty real quick. Anyways, here's normal size Lefty. I still find it weird that they made him like this weird gray color instead of black but eh oh well he's still a good plush i don't know the pizza sim wave was just a weird wave in general i mean they didn't even make these three eh that's a rant from another day uh anyways rockstar freddy he is here and he's awesome i have still yet to make uh rockstar bonnie but uh you know what here's uh rockstar chica yeah don't mind that it was a little bit of an accent when trying to make her but uh yeah anyways she's here get out my lawn you varmint and then we have Rockstar Foxy with his little parrot pal. I find it weird. I, again, I find it weird that they made Rockstar Freddy and, Fro and Foxy, but not Bonnie and Chica. What? I don't know, it's weird. What's even weirder is that they made two me- Actually, no, they made four mediocres, but not Ned Bear. By the way, yeah, no, Ned, I, Ned Bear's in storage. Uh, I only have these two. 
And, you know, I would give Mr. Hippo and Happy Frog, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't want to spend that much on, on those guys. <laughs> Especially because I'm probably going to use them in, like, one episode and, like, never again. Oh, well, it, it, it's more or less for, like, collector's value, I guess. Speaking of, I, again, this is weird. Like, here's how Chip, the funny Mexican, but, like, why did they make him and not, like, Funtime Chica or Music Man? I don't know. It, it's weird, but, you know, I guess we got him. We also have Helpy, which I think people dog on this guy, but he's still, I, I think he's a good plush. I do think Helpy's been oversaturized in FNAF recently because of like all the recent games, but I don't know, that's just me. That, that's just a personal take. I still love Helpy. I also love our Lord and Savior. This joke will never die and I will make sure of it. Anyways, yeah, no, here, here we go. Good boy. Uh, egg baby! Okay, yeah, seriously, I, I, I really do need to make a, more episodes with some of these characters. Especially with uh, characters like Scrap Chica. Like, she's part of a Party Times gang. I'm like, I barely use the, that gang. But, like, I want to use them more. Like, there's characters I really want to use more. But it's like, I'm, like, I'm in, it's, I still, like, making ideas for videos. And it's just, like, I, I'm just trying to brainstorm before I officially make a make an episode. Because I want to make it the best I can, okay? I think a problem with me as of recent is that I'm trying to do better than, um, like, current call, which obviously every video going forward is not going to be at that level of quality, but, like, I should really just, like, I, I should, like, I shouldn't, like, burden myself with that, with um, that much quality. Although, like, uh, admittedly, next year I am going to focus on quality over quantity, but we'll see how that goes. I'll be honest, I just upload whenever I want to. Like, that's the thing with YouTube. Like, it's supposed to be fun, and that's why people kind of seem to forget about this. Like, YouTube's supposed to be fun, not just something you do. Like, I just do this for a hobby. Like, for sewing, for speed edits, drawing, and all that. I just do it for a hobby. Wow, I just went on a bit of a rant there. Sorry! I mean, hey, if you're at this point in the video and you're still watching, thank you for listening to me rant on about YouTube's current state at this point. But yeah, no, that's FNAF 6. Uh, what was the next game? Oh, Ultimate Custom Night, right? Yeah, I don't really have any customs from Ultimate Custom Night, so help wanted! And ironically, so with Help Wanted 2 releasing, uh, like, it, it, that game just being one of my favorite games this month, it, I don't know, I, I just really love Help Wanted 2. Anyways, enough of me talking about uh, stupid stuff. Uh, here's Glitch Trap. You know, let me fix this whisker there, but like, yeah, this is the custom that I use for a lot of my videos since uh, like 2022. Yeah, I think it's still a pretty good custom. I like how it, uh, I like how he came out. I mean, it's way better than the bootleg. I don't know why I bought this. It just looks dumb and that's why I bought it. It just looks really like dumb and stupid and stinky. And I, I, I just wanted to get it because it looks that way. Then if you make it, if you make him turn this way, he just looks out of it. I don't know, I got this guy, I'm never gonna use him, but, like, he's he's here, he's a, he's a goofy guy. And now on to, uh, Curse of Dreadbear. Um, here's Dreadbear. Honestly, I really like the Dreadbear wave, it's a, it's a really solid wave, like, those, that's the wave where those two, the Jackos come from, but, yeah, no, it's a really solid wave. Especially since I got Jacko Foxy, or not J Jacko, Grim Foxy! <laughs> you, I don't know, it just, I flashed back, I, I just flashed back a little bit. By saying Jacko Foxy, because when I first saw this thing in Help Wanted, uh, not Help Wanted, in the Curse of Dreadbird, I thought it was a Jacko Foxy. But no, I mean, it technically is, but I think I'm a Grand Fox. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. 2019 was a weird time, I guess. But anyways, uh, here is uh, Captain Foxy. He's a uh, actually a really good plush. But I, I don't think anyone can tell me otherwise. He's got a pirate hat, and, uh, you know, he appeared in Help Wanted too, which is nice. Although, weirdly enough, he wasn't voiced by Christopher McCullough. I, I hope he, I pronounced the name right, but wait, weirdly enough, like, and how about it too? Foxy was not voiced by uh, Christopher McCullough. He was voiced by some random weirdo. Like, I don't know. When I think Foxy, I just imagine the voice of Christopher McCullough coming out of him. But, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing, but I, I don't know. Maybe in, like, weird circumstances or whatever. But anyways, uh, here's my son. This is not a duplicate of Dreadbear. This is like a really like scaled down version of him. I don't know why Funko decided to make this. Probably just to get an extra buck out of people who wanted to like Dreadbear. So me. But like, look at this thing. It's a 
adorable. It's my little son. I can, I can hold, I can hold him fully in my hand, and he's adorable. But anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna put him like, in between these two. Here we go. But yeah, that's from uh, everything from Help Wanted. Uh, okay, so what am I gonna do now? Do I do books or AR? I'm gonna do AR. Five Nights at Frondo's AR. We are starting with uh, uh, the, 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 the Fro F Freddy Frostbear. I almost forgot his name. Honestly, so again, one of the better modern day customs of from Funko. Same with this guy. I, I think this is still a pretty solid plush. The face is, a, the head's a little weird, but I, I, I still like him. Good old Shamrock Freddy, Irish Freddy, Shrek Freddy, whatever, what have you. And I'm pretty sure after him, it was the Easter stuff. Yeah, no, it's definitely the Easter stuff. But yeah, here's uh, Chocolate Bonnie. He is really, again, this is a really good plush. Like, really soft, really cuddly. The only thing I don't like about him is the bow tie, but I don't know. Anyways, he's a pretty solid plush. I like him. He's a, he, he's a good boy. Although, weirdly enough, they made a plush of him and an action figure of him, but not like... They, but they only made an extra figure of Easter Bonnie. Which, again, obviously this is a bootleg, but like... Eh, it's nice to have. I, this to round out AR. Uh, anyways, I'm trying to think, what was the next one you have to do the Easter way? Uh, Arcade Mayhem, that's it. Why do I keep on uh, praising FNAF AR? Nobody cares. I care, damn it. And it's sad that they kind of just abandoned the game. We got some decent skins out of that, even though th this was kind of a lazy way just to filler but like whatever vr toy freddy weirdly enough he does have a plastic nose but eh, i think it's fine the rest of them looks nice the material on them is really good so nothing really too much to complain about him and then i got live wire toy freddy i literally went to walmart one day around my birthday and then i was like holy crap that's him same thing goes for another plush but uh, he, he, we'll, we'll talk about her later but anyways, uh, System Error Toy Bonnie. Uh, this is actually a way better Toy Bonnie plush than what we got, like, in 2016. The only thing wrong with him is just the ears, but... Eh. What, what, what can you do? And then we got High Score Toy Chica. Honestly, the closest thing I'm gonna get to a hot Toy Chica plush. Same with that thing. And I think that's everything from, uh, Arcade Mayhem. So let's move on to Toxic Wasteland, I think. Yeah, we're getting the only plushies from that wave. Uh... What's... Radioactive Foxy. I almost forgot his name. Objectively, it's not the worst plush, but like, it's not good either. They don't even have two hooks, but I don't know. I'm nitpicking at this point. Although I did make a custom uh, Toxic Spring Trap, which honestly doesn't look that bad for what I had to do. I used a purple Foxy to make him. Or maybe it was a blue Foxy. I can't remember. Either way, I, I still think it's decent custom. But again, this was probably like in, I think 2020? I think that I made him 2021. I can't fully remember. Eh, who knows? Maybe one day I'm, I might remake him. I think after these two, it was the 4th of July wave. So I'm going to guess and say Firework Freddy's next. I know people don't really like the skin, but objectively, I like it. It's just the dumbest thing in the world, and I, I just really love, love it. I, I got the plush. I forget. Did it release last year or this year? Well, 2023 or this year. 2022 last year. I think it released in 2022, which, again, kind of weird, but, eh, what have you. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, I went to Walmart in, like, November, and then I found Liberty Chica out there randomly in the Poppy Playtime bin, so I have her now. <laughs> I mean, this guy, in my series, like, the American Psycho, like, the, like a villain for Mothman, so maybe this could be the Harley Quinn equivalent. That's just me brainstorming. Oh, yeah, and the cupcake's pretty cool, too, I it's kind of flat, but eh, what can you do? Objectively, this is probably the, uh, the, the, the ob objectively, these are pretty good plushies for a mobile game. A mobile game that died. Okay, so for the life of me, I think the uh, the circus wave might be in storage. And I think, the, I think the next wave might be sizzling summer. So let me look through here to see if I have any of those. Any of those. But before I do that, here's Chocolate Freddy. He's technically not in the game, but Funko kind of made him out of spite, I think, around the money. I don't know. He's a cool character besides that. He's there. Okay, so I did make Burning Springtrap, but again, he's in storage at another person's house. 
my, like another relative of mine's house, so the only one I got for the Sizzling Summer is like at the end of. Which I think I'm, call me crazy, but the Sizzling Summer wave was uh, honestly a really good wave. I don't know, maybe that's just me being a sucker for like the aesthetic of that wave, but like, I don't know, I really like, I, 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 I like that wave. I mean, I still have to make uh, Ch Chica, the, the Scorching Chica and Broiler Baby character. I think those are the I, I I can't fully remember, but I need to make those two still. That, and I probably need to go and find uh, Scorching Scorch Trap again. Scorch tra no, it, Flaming Spring Trap. I, 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 there's so many characters. It's like Skylanders. I can't really remember all the names, but I know what they look like. Okay, so after the Dark Circus, I think the next wave was like, after Halloween, it was like a Woodland wave. So like, I made Woodland Toy Freddy. This is the only like forest creature I made. I haven't made Boulder Bonnie or Shrek BB yet. Swamp BB, I don't know. I can't really fully remember the names. But yeah, no, he's, he, he's there, I guess. And then after that, we move on to the uh, Arctic Wasteland, the, the uh, Winter Wonderland uh, wave, I, I think. I think that's what it's called. I just call it the Christmas wave. But like, yeah, uh, we got Black Eyes Frostbear, which is basically that guy's skin. I think out of all the skins in this uh, win in this Christmas themed thing, I, I really like him. It's a really, it's a really solid character idea, and I, I think I really, I did a good job replicating it in plush form. I basically got a blue Freddy covered in felt, and uh, this is the result of it. It's a little hard around some areas, but like, it's still a plush. And I gave him a spear, so nice. And now I just put him here, and hopefully he does not fall with his spear. And another weird addition to the uh, characters that Funko makes as official plushies, um, Arctic BB, Frostbite BB, I can't really remember. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's the only BB plush I, technically own it was like okay lately all the exclusives for waves have been walmart exclusives so like what the hell i'll rant about it later but like yeah this is this is like a really nice plush i like them i like the little thing here it's nice nice good printing a lot of it's sewn this thing i expected this thing to be like a flat piece like this but it's not it's nice anyways you can go here you little crap and then I have a custom uh, Frost Plush Trap. I know there's a bootleg of Frost Plush Trap, but that looks infinitely better, but I don't have it, so technically it doesn't exist. But anyways, this guy looks good, and I I, I just, I like him. Now, if you're asking uh, why haven't I made Arctic Ballora yet, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to, I don't really want to make her. <laughs> Not that I don't want to make, like, Ballora that skin. I do like the skin, it's just like, I just don't have the materials or technically the skills to make it. I, I like making this body style, not the other one. Like, this body style is fine. It's just this body style for plushies I struggle with. But anyways, yeah, she's not going to appear until later. Okay, so after Christmas, it was the Valentine's wave, I think. Yeah. Okay, so here's one of the times where I got unlucky with making a custom plush of a FNAF AR skin. I made Blackheart Bonnie before they decided, hey, we're gonna make him as a plush. And then they did, and it looks terrible. Like, his face just looks weird and that. I, I, I don't like it. In most cases, it's fine, but like, eh. I kind of wish they used the uh, plush pattern for uh, Chocolate Bonnie over there. I think that would have worked better, but I don't know, that's just me. But anyways, yeah, the DVDs, this funny little heart and crack. I, I, I like that about a uh, heart sick bunny. And they also, I don't know, for some reason they didn't make heart sick baby, which I honestly really want them to. I really want them to make, uh, okay, call me out for being um, someone who would rather they make a plush of this character and not Nightmare Chica, but like, it's Funko. If they make Nightmare Chica, the world's ending. Although if they make this thing, I don't think the world would. I'm not joking about that. If they make Nightmare Chica, the world is ending at, this, at that point. <laughs> uh, technically, the next wave, uh, next uh, like wave of characters that came out for FNAF AR was the uh, Aztec wave with like Curse, Springtrap, and Serpent Mango. But I haven't made them at all. I may, I might make Curse, Springtrap, and Serpent Mango, but eh, we'll see. But after that wave, we got another Easter wave with uh, Melted Chocolate Bonnie, and 
Honestly, I actually kind of like this custom. It's not the best custom, objectively, but for what I had to do, I think it looks fine. That was a funny little skip for a video idea. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen any episodes from Season 8 with uh, revolving around this guy, um, he was in the Season 8 episode, uh, go check it out. Okay, so after the Easter wave, they did this weird wave with, like, a uh, Little Red Riding Hood, where they made, they made Chica Little Red Riding Hood, and then they made Foxy a wolf. I don't know why people thought they would make Twisted Wolf, but, eh, whatever. Anyways, here's Werewolf Foxy. I know his name in the game is Big Bad Foxy, but I don't care. In my series, he's kind of like a dog to Dreadbear and Grim Foxy, and it's kind of funny to me. And I hope it's funny to you guys. Honestly, I just I just make whatever's funny to me, and hopefully everyone like enjoy, finds it funny too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm hello, I'm under the water. This is the only, like, water skin I made. I, I can't remember if... Yeah, no, his name is Piranha Plush Trap. Uh, I think he was the last one. I, honestly, out of all the skins, I think this one is one of my favorites. Because they took such a weird idea, and they made it look good. Like, put up an image of Pl Piranha Plush Trap. He looks amazing. And yeah, no, I haven't made the... Uh, what was it? The Anglerfish Endo, and then the Sunken Ship Toy Bonnie. Again, I might make those because... I don't know, I might make the Endoskeleton, but... Who knows? And then we that's it for the FNAF Hour Wave until I make uh, Great Escape Golden Freddy. I do want to make them, I just don't know how. But anyways, moving on to the books. The books. The books. It's him. Here he is. Uh, it's it's a uh, pet trap. I don't know why. I, f I just had a brain fart there. He Pet trap, yeah. Honestly, after all these years, he's still a pretty good custom. I can't say the same for Eleanor. Also, yeah, I had to cut open her chest for dramatic effect in the series uh, spoilers but yeah it, it happened honestly a lot of these plushies are just kind of falling apart sometimes so I'm, i worry about like if they're actually gonna break but like yeah count the ways hunter freddy he's still he's in decent condition i did this fun little trick of him trick of him where uh, what? you open up his belly and you see uh inside of him so yeah and then i have his endo head with a little claw for that one music video I did so long ago. And just that one scene in the, my other FNAF flush movie, uh, Glitches Unfold. Again, like these movies, come on, these are, they're, they're crumb movies. At least in my opinion, some of them might be cringe, but I don't know. Following the train of the books, we got Fetch, which is honestly a really adorable custom. He's, look at, look at him, look at his soul and say you would, you, you see an adorable puppy. Yeah, he's adorable. Uh, next up, I think the next story was, uh, yeah, no, Lonely Freddy. This plush is honestly starting to show its age with, like, how it's designed, but I still really like him. I think he's a little too big for what the characters described it as in, in the book, but whatever. And then we have my favorite out of the three, objectively. Uh, plush Trap Chaser, I don't know why... <laughs> I was like, it's plush trap something. No, plush trap chaser. I just, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm having a brain fart today. I, I, I'm filming this right after I did that um, swap force stream, which kind of failed. But you know what? It, it, it's fine. But anyways, yeah, this is a uh, plush trap chaser. He's uh, again, he's a pretty good custom after all these years. All right, next up we have a uh, bunny call. I think the name of that book. Uh, we have uh, Ralpho. His hat's starting to fall off a little bit, but. Yeah, it's fine. And then we got the guy who finally died. <laughs> I know, the joke was he just didn't, he, 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 he I, I don't know. It was a stupid running joke that I just had to end at some point. And next up we have, uh, Blackbird. I think this is a decent custom for what I, what, for, you know, the time I made it. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is Blackbird. Nothing really too much to say about him. And you know, he's pretty tall. Um, here you go. He, he, he's fine out there. And then we got something. Okay, this is supposed to be the hide and seek, the hide and seek Shadow Bonnie from the hide and seek story from Fast for Fights. But in my in my uh, plush series, this is the mother of Shadow Bonnie and Shadow Freddy, which honestly people didn't really seem to mind. So I I just kind of kept it. So yeah, she uh, she she exists. 
Yeah, look at her. She, uh, she's nice. She got a little tail and everything. A little ghost tail and everything. I think this is objectively one of the better customs from the book series. And I think that's it from Fazbear Frights. Uh, it's coming around behind me right now. Yep, that, that's it. Although I technically have one custom from the Tales from the Pizza Blocks. Mimic. Yeah, I kind of made this plush before the security bridge came out. And I just said, and I'm, I'm going on record right now saying this is based off of what I thought the Mimic looked like in the books. Which technically I own like three of them. I own the first two in Tiger Rock. So, yeah. I might make more customs from Tales from the Pizza Flex, but some of the designs, like the description of the designs in that series are just so weird, you know? Also, I would like to make it clear. I'm making it clear right here, right now. That mimic is not the same as this mimic. I mean, I haven't gotten to this one yet, but like this mimic is, mim is different from that mimic. That guy is his own entity. I just kind of called him uh, Springlock, I think now, because he looks more like a Springlock hybrid thing. I don't know. It, it, this is Mimic. This is Mimic now. He's a separate character. It, it's kind of confusing, but yet again, I this was, again, just before this guy existed. Or design why this guy existed. I don't know. But, you know, this guy has his own individual lore apart from that guy, so uh, stay tuned for that. Speaking of which, I think we can finally move on to Security Breach. Alright, first off, we got Glam Freddy. He's awesome. I actually updated him a little bit this year. I gave him some blue, uh, I kind of I, instead of using marker for the blue, the blue marker for this face paint, I, I use felt. I think it looks fine for what it is. It doesn't blend 100%, but it, I think it blends enough. Next up, we have Montgomery Gator. And uh, yeah, some of these plushies are a little not... They I know the Security Breach Wave isn't the favorite, the most favored by a lot of, a lot of people. But I think it's fine, even though it's kind of leaked wave. But, yeah, I kind of don't like that I had to modify these guys a lot. I mean, with Monty, I just, I didn't really do much. I just kind of fixed his mohawk. It was, a, it was a weird orange color. And then I just kind of took it off and put a red one on there. Roxanne received the most amount of adjustments. Like, I had to put on face paint, the, the, the lipstick, the little mark there, and even give her a new, a completely new hairstyle. But, I don't know, I think she turned out pretty good. And then we got Glamrochka. I think this one didn't really need too much modifications to her, honestly. I just need to add earrings and lipstick and all that. Nothing really too much to do with Chica, and I'm glad about that. And now here's Vanny. Again, nothing really too much that I did with her. I just put whiskers and a mouth and some stitching on her. And if you guys are asking, no, I'm not going to modify the jumbo because I would like to keep that thing as how it is. Especially because of how much it goes for nowadays. But yeah, no, here's Vanny. She's, uh, she's cool. She purdy. Weirdo! Shut up, rabbit! Okay, anyways, uh, on to some other characters from Security Breach. Okay, so, here we have Vanessa. Honestly, I think, even though I suck at making, uh, this kind of plush style, like, plush body style for, like, char some characters, especially humans, I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. She is a very bland expression. Her hair's in a ponytail, but other than that, I think she looks okay. Dear God, I can't say the same about Gregory. Yuck! I need to remake him! Especially because of Cassie. I'll, I'll get to her in a minute. But we got a few more customs. Uh, we got Glamrock Endo, which honestly, I'm really proud of this guy. I, I like how he turned out. He's very flat, very, very squarish, very, uh, very, very, uh, Endo. <laughs> He's a good custom. I like him. And now we have Burn Trap. I, uh, this is just, this was the old boot bootlegs Burn Trap that I, I used for so long. But then I just turned it into Burn Trap. And over the course of a few years, I modified him a little bit. Uh, give him some details on his head. Um, his head really likes to wobble, but that's not, that's in my part. Yeah, you know, it was good. Especially at the end of Kern Call, because, like, you know, I can make him and Freddy, uh, there, there he is. I can make him and Freddy, like, punch the crap out of each other and it was a cool boss fight. It was like an anime boss fight. Well, not really anime. It was like a boss fight with Metal Gear Music. And totally not a reference to Travis's boss fight. Okay, that was some, some inspiration there. Now, you know what? You can go over here. And once again, uh, bootleg companies decided, hey, let's just make this character that Funko's probably never gonna make. Uh, yeah, no, here's a bootleg burn trap. I, I, 
I have conflicting feelings on this guy. It's fine for what it is. But I don't know. Maybe I just have a soft spot for my custom. I don't know. I mean, it really doesn't matter. This guy isn't even canon anymore. <laughs> Design that doesn't even count in the glory anymore. How funny. Although what is canon is this really tall dude. Yeah, I uh, made the mimic. He is actually a really good custom. I really like him. I don't really do much to say about him. He's a little too long in the torso area, but I think he's fine. And you know what? I, I did this once, and I'm probably never going to do it again, but I bought a custom plush off of, off of Makari. More specifically by uh, the, 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 the guy, um, Party Time Productions, I think his name is. Uh, thank you for selling me Cassie. Because <laughs> I'll be honest, I suck at making humans in the plushies, if you see from Gregory there, especially if it's like a small character. Admittedly, Cassie's pretty big, but just look at this like, craftsmanship in the community. Like, Come on, uh, go give him some support if you if you know him. I was gonna say we were done with security breach, but we're not. I have uh, fixed the version of Glamrock Money, and you know I'm actually gonna put him in the series next year. Um, in in, the, in season nine, I'm actually gonna put him in the series. I have a good idea with him. <laughs> Spoiler alert: It has to do with her. I'll leave it at that. Oh my god, I I I completely skipped over the some characters from Security Breach. Holy crap. Anyways, yeah, uh, we got the officially released sun and the moon. And then my custom eclipse. Look at it. It's the whole trio. Well, then I feel bad because I completely skipped over the uh, shattered animatronics. But uh, before we get to them, I have uh, Upgrade Freddy, which basically is just uh, Freddy, but with Monty's claws, Chica's voice box, and Mo Roxy's eyes. These are Roxy's eyes? Still the best line in that game. Anyways, uh, the Shattered animatronics did seem receive some uh, visual updates. Uh, Chica only a little bit with like some marker detail and uh, little earrings because I didn't add that on her originally. But yeah, that's her. And then Monty, thank God I found another Monty plush because holy crap, this guy is, this guy looks way better. Obviously, it doesn't really bl the green doesn't really blend too well, but I think for what I had to do, I think it looks fine. Now Roxy, holy crap, she had a makeover. Yeah, I actually used, I still used the original Shattered Roxy custom plush, and then I just modified it a little bit. It's not the best thing, but I, I especially like how I just updated the hair and uh, in the face. Or rather, like, I don't know. Well, so if you guys are wondering, I'm a little hesitant to make the Shattered, uh, not the Shattered, the Ruined versions of these guys. Mostly because I don't know what the hell Funko's doing. I think they're making her and the Rune and Eclipse. I, I don't know. They might also be making Roxy. But even then, I, I, I could make Monty because it's not that hard. <laughs> He's pretty easy. Just make a gray version of him. But anyways, that's it for Security Breach. I, nope, it's not. Okay, so uh, while searching, I found this guy's ear ripped off. <laughs> So this is supposed to be like a non-blob version of the Princess Quest uh, thing. Uh, the Princess Quest uh, glitch thing, I forget the name of it. This guy, it's basically like this version of Glitch Trap. Which honestly, these customs uh, still hold up for the most part. I keep on thinking I'm done with security breach, but I'm not. I am Mexis. And holy crap, you actually received a bit of an update. <laughs> Mostly with the head, I just didn't like how the head just looked like a triangle, so I made it like a normal plush head that I normally do. And it looks way better. Especially like the ears, it looks like his ears. Like, and, I, I, and also I decided like a few more things on him, like, like this and stuff like that. But other than that, yeah, here he is. Kinda sucks that Funko may not make him because he's actually, a, he's, he's, he's a giga chat, okay? Okay, before I move on to, uh, I, I, actually, wait, there is technically, technically, there is like two more things. The Help Wanted 2 and the movie. I should probably do Help Wanted 2 first. Or, uh, yeah, no, definitely Help Wanted 2 first. Uh, I made Carney. Yeah, I decided to make him because it's, 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 I know it's basically just a reskin of Lefty in a way, but like, it's his own character. It's voiced by uh, Cameron Miller. I think that's his name. He's the guy who does Monty. That, that's, that, that's why I like him. 
yeah, I think this is a really solid plush. Overall, really cool. Also, that one person who keeps on asking me Rose X Carney. No. You go right there, my boy. Anyways, we move on to the Cinematic Masterpiece FNAF movie. We have Golden Freddy. Which, honestly, I might just throw this guy away and just make another one. We'll see. Spoilers, but not really. We have Afton. I, I technically made this before in the movie and I just had some extra weathering on him. But, yeah. He's cool. He's a... He was a cool part. He was one of the cool parts in the movie. And what was also a pretty interesting part of the movie, I'm watching it a second time, spoilers, uh, Sparky. Well, not really the fixed version of him, just a, uh, just a, just a bunch of parts of him. But other than that, I'm glad there was a reference to a FNAF hoax in the movie. All right, you know what? I feel like at this rate, I could probably fit everything on the bed. Okay, uh, my bad. I forgot something from Security Reach. I forgot, uh... Ruin Freddy. Or technically Shattered Freddy. Because technically this is Ruin Freddy, you would just have to take off his head. But, eh. I'm just gonna put him here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's move on. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go on a rant for a little bit. Let's let's move on to Funko OCs. Okay, I'll be honest. After the Christmas wave, I just kind of got sick of these, these uh, kind of waves. But, uh, anyways... Uh, oh my god, my arm. Holy crap, my, oh my god, my, 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 my pinky is indented. Okay, but anyways, uh, I'm holding the camera a different way, but, uh, anyways, let's move on. Uh, this, the, the first wave, technically, of the Funko Madness, like, OC Madness is tight knife ready. And then they made another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. And they made another one, but this one's actually not that bad. I don't know, it just baffles me that, like, they made this entire wave of, like, completely new character designs. Or, like, new molds. And they actually look good. I just wish it wasn't tie-dye. Don't get me wrong, I still love this wave. It's still a good wave. I just kind of wish that Funko would re-release these molds, but with not with, without the tie-dye and, like, the... The colors of like the, the the normal gang, but that's not where my uh, little irritation with them ends. Well, I mean, it, 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 I mean, the, granted, the, the circus wave wasn't actually that bad because this is actually a pretty good wave. That's a dumb idea, but in the in the with FNAF, where FNAF's going nowadays, it, it it it's a decent idea. But anyways, balloon Freddy. All right, next up, uh. uh Balloon Foxy, and then we got Balloon Chica, which is kind of just a uh, weird Walmart exclusive. It, and admittedly, she, just, she does look pretty adorable. You'd think the Circus Wave would start up there, but no it does not. Because we got uh, Circus Freddy. Or not Circus Freddy, Clown Freddy, Clown, and then Clown Bonnie. And then Clown Foxy, or as I like to call it, I don't get why they didn't make Clown Chica and and or Clown or Balloon Bonnie, but I don't know. Oh my god, I've been doing this for like an hour. I'm almost done. <laughs> okay, finally with the Funko Madness of Cash Grab, uh, we have the Christmas Wave. We got Santa Freddy, Elf Bounty, Snowman, Snow Chicken Chica. Uh, Gingerbread Foxy, and Nutcracker Foxy. Okay, now let me rant. This has literally been like two waves in a row! Why would you do this? Like, there's so many characters you can make! Granted, I like these waves, they're fine for what they are, but I mainly got these five for a video idea. If I didn't make videos, what's the point? I know I'm pretty much repeating Travis at this point, but like, she makes a good point! Like, why haven't they made, like, Nightmare Chica, or, 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 or Glitch Trap, or, uh, the Scrap Trap, any of the scraps? This whole video has just been a sporadic, uh, oh, I'm talking about this, and then I go on a rant about something for, like, five, five minutes. But fear not, we are almost done. And then I gotta go for the burden of ending this video. <laughs> Alright, uh, anyways, yeah, that's, that, that, that's gonna be it for the bed. We're moving to the, to the floor. Alright, so we are going to be moving on to some 
fan games. Uh, first off, starting with uh, Candy the Cat. This is a whole part of the whole um, Fazbear Initiative thing where it's like, oh, certain fan games can get uh, official merch. And Finance Candy's made the cut, and I'm really glad about that. This is really, it's really cool to have a official blush of candy. Same goes with Pop Ghost. Yeah, it's a nice little weasel with a jacket and uh, rather a vest and a little weasel wear. It's weird that they made the evergreen Pop Goes and then the 2016 Blake. Like, I, I, I don't understand that. I don't know, Funko being Funko, I guess. And now, oh, actually, wait, before we move on to uh, the Joy Creation, I'm gonna uh, show off another one more custom from Planet's Candies. The rat, I made him for a dumb idea involving candy. And that was a really good, fun video to, to film I, and edit. That was a really fun episode. I, I lo I'm a sucker for Tom and Jerry. And it's funny because, you know, it's, it's a rat and a cat, you know. <laughs> Seriously though, if you guys want more episodes with the Fazbear, the, the Fazbear Initiative characters, uh, let me know. Thing, go thing goes for the Ignite characters. Let me know if you want me to make more videos with these guys. Because I genuinely like how these customs came out. And yeah, no, I actually remade the Ignited customs with the Withered plushies and... Or with the old Withered customs because, you know, I, the new ones are... The new bootlegs are there, so... You know, I have these. And yeah, here's Ignited Freddy. Uh, he's, he's pretty cool. Okay, I can feel my phone burning up, so I'm, I'm gonna try and hurry through this. Uh, here we have uh, Ignited Bonnie, which is made off of the bootleg Bonnie that I had for a while. And, and again, one of my popular videos, uh, Rip to the Plush, it's now Ignited Bonnie. And then we have Ignited Chica, probably my favorite custom of this year, just because of like the jaw and just overall how it looks. And yeah, no, these three are based off of the uh, Reignited trilogy characters, or at least from what we've seen of them so far. Except for Foxy, I just kind of based them off of whatever I, I I found. But you know, other than that, he uh, looks pretty good. I have yet to make Ignited Golden Freddy, but if a bootleg Withered Freddy come, Wither Golden Freddy comes out, I will make the w custom Withered Golden Freddy into the uh, Ignited Golden Freddy. And then finally for Joy Creation, we have Creation. All right, I might remake him, maybe, but I like this plush. It's a good plush after all these years. That has been the reoccurring thing I've been saying throughout this, this video, and it, it, yeah. Okay, anyways, one more fan game to go through. Uh, Baby's Nightmare Circus. We have Nightmare Baby, which in a sense is kind of based off of the Nightmare Baby model from Baby's Nightmare Circus, but like, it, 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 it's kind of based on my own thing. And uh, yeah, I think it's uh, pretty good. Now, Nightmare Rennard is definitely the Nightmare Rennard from Baby's Nightmare Circus, which Still, I think it's a really good fan game. Yeah, I just used the extra parts from Ennard from when I made Molten Freddy, and then I just made this guy. I think he looks uh, pretty dang good. And that's it for fan games, so let me move on to fan-made characters that I have made. All right, so this technically should count as a book character, but I'm counting him as a fan-made character because over time he's just became my own thing. But uh, yeah, this is party time. I know that's not technically his name in the books, but like, I don't care. <laughs> it's a whole thing, but like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, no, here's uh, here's Abby. I have to fix her because like her torso is coming apart a little bit, but yeah, I'll, I'll fix that. And then to round out the party time game, we have uh, Donnie. Yeah, he's a uh, pretty good design. I, uh, I like him. And it's just a, a black and gray bonbon, but I, I think he's made, I, I made him his own character in a way. And then this is kind of based on Glitch Trap, which is not my character, but it's a FNAF, a FNAF character, but it's my own version of Glitch Trap. This is Infested Agony Glitch Trap. That's what I'm calling him, and I really like this plush. He, he's cool. I, okay, well, when I when I pulled him out of the bin, he, his arm's coming off a little bit, but eh, I'll fix him. And then we have Mecha Pit Trap, my fan-made version me mechanical version of pit trap i actually uh in the movie his spoilers in the uh current call movie his head got torn off but i fixed it with the power of sewing i know that and him and party time it just became fan favorites so yeah sorry for anyone who wants to see him but uh he's, he's kind of 
gone. Who well, else? The another person that's gone is uh, Vincent, another strange fan favorite character. Yeah, the, again, this is something that um, uh, me and a friend of mine, Austin, made. So uh, yeah, that's that's him. And finally, Rose, the sweet, sweet Rose, the child of Freddy and Baby. The innocence shall not be lost of her. And if you even try it, I'm coming to your house. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm joking about that. And then finally, we have, uh, we have me. Yeah, just me, just plain old me, Doom me. And then we got Springy. And then finally, finally, we have Doom. I really want to do more of him, but more or less, I, I, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> and with that, oh boy, that is, that's a lot. We actually went on the floor this year. <laughs> but yeah, this is the, uh, all the plushies that I have made slash bought slash uh, whatever else throughout the course of uh, five to six years. I have a really unhealthy addiction. And uh, yeah, I feel like for next year, I'm not gonna do every single plush that I have just because I think that a lot of you have seen these plushies over time and a lot of them you guys are kind of tired of seeing. so. Maybe next year I could just show plushies that are new that I bought over the year, but we'll see about that. But for now, this is all the plushies that I collected from our, all the total amount of plushies I have uh, in 2023. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you guys had a happy uh, New Year's, hopefully, or maybe not, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, yeah, 2023 was definitely a really hectic year. It, it's been a lot, a lot happened this year behind the scenes with me, but other than that, I, I'm making through it and I'm uh, hoping that uh, you guys stick around for 2024. A lot of cool things are coming your way. A lot of cool, I, I have a lot of ideas that I really want to do. And, uh, yeah. Plus, you know, plush, these plush collections, I always dread filming them. But afterwards, I'm so happy with them because I, I get to see everyone being like, oh my god, this is so cool. How many, so many plushies. Plus, plus it's an excuse for me to organize the plushies. So in a way, I, I, I'm not getting tired of these. At least not yet. Uh, making these collection videos, not the collecting itself. I, I still like collecting these. These are really nice to have, and especially for my love for this franchise. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and let me unplug my phone real quick so I can do the funny, uh, you know what? Let's do something different this year. I'm gonna throw myself! Yay! Ugh. Okay, bye!